All right, so we're moving on to splats, and what we'll have to do is create ourselves a new um, variable here. I'm going to call this one worlds uh, splat, and this one is going to be a list. And so if we go back up here to TF vars, we'll make ourselves a new variable down here, and we'll just call this one splat. And it's going to be a list, but it's going to contain inside of it a bunch of maps. Okay, so we'll do pretty much this up here. Okay, um, but what's going to happen here is going to be slightly different where we are going to set um, one is the name. So we'll just say like um, Earth name. That's actually Mars name. So it's say Mars name here for all these. And then over here, these are going to be the Earth name. So I think that is valid. And uh, what we're going to do here is just type in Terraform console. And if we wrote that correctly, oh, no, we got an error. So it says expected an equal sign to mark the beginning of a new attribute value. So, I mean, this should be okay. Uh, oh, you know what? I think this colon is just missing here. Put it up again. There we go, we're fine. So if we just wanna look at that variable, I think we just type it in here and it might print it out if we're lucky. Yes, yeah, so there it is. Um, so what we're going to do here is use a splat to get maybe the Mars name or something. So if we used a for loop, what we'd have to probably write, we could try this, um, but we'd have to do for, and then it would be for the actual uh, map. So let's say M for map in worlds splat. And then we would have to do M dot Mars name. And so a reference to the attribute by the one access tribute specifying the resource name. So, I mean, that looks, oh, you know, it's because we didn't write var. Okay. I say we, but it was really me. Um, so, you know, that's that, but we could write this in a more concise way. Okay. And so we use a splat Mars name. Okay. So, you know, that's a lot more convenient if we're just trying to access variables like that. Um, I think that if you're trying to do things like, if you want to do upper here, I think you still have to use a for expression. Okay, I don't think you can do this. We can try it, but I really don't think that will work. No. And if we look at the documentation, they don't show an example like that. So, you know, it's not that bad, but you can see that it's for a particular use case. You can't use that for um, maps or whatever the equivalent, the other map is, object. Um, but uh, it's useful for this one particular use case, okay?